After the athletic director here at USF resigned, administrators wasted no time beginning their search for a new sense of leadership in the athletic department. Uh, the week after Kevin uh, submitted his resignation, we, uh, we put a, an ad out on the NCAA market looking for our new athletic director. Um, it's a position that um, it's it's great opportunity for someone because we're a Division two school um, and you know we think we can bring in a really a high a high caliber candidate. Uh, the timing was actually good for a resignation because it allowed us to get the search out, which we're doing right now. I think uh, fundraising is going to be a huge issue for whoever comes in. That's going to be one. Two, I think that Kevin did such a good job through the transition getting us into the Northern Sun that I don't ne necessarily think that anybody has to go above and beyond, but they just need to continue the process of how we need to grow uh, already being established in the Northern Sun. Goal says they've been hosting candidates on campus and getting to know them better. She's excited about the presence and the background they bring to the athletic administration. You know, we're excited about all four that we're bringing to campus this week. Um, they all have athletic administrative backgrounds in, in um, Division I or Division II athletic departments. Um, uh, we, we think that they, they all have um, fundraising, uh, some sort of fundraising background as well, and we know that's going to be a big part of the job. Um, but overall, uh, you know, just we're excited. Um, the, the process is long. You start with a big list and you narrow down and narrow down and narrow down and we couldn't be happier with um, the list that we were able to um, bring to campus this week. When we'll actually be able to, to, to meet the official athletic director, um, you know, I think that after the on-campus interviews, we'll, we'll move towards uh, recommending uh, to the president and to the cabinet who we feel like would be the best candidate. Um, then, you know, moving takes time. We don't know what anybody's timetable would be. Um, it, if they accept the position, it still might be weeks before they're here just because they need to be able to um, secure everything um, and make sure that they're ready for the move. As much as a university needs to find the right fit, so does a chosen candidate. Fujimoto stresses the importance of the new athletic director feeling as though USF is a good fit. I think experience is going to be huge with us being at the Division II level. Um, I know with the candidates there's going to be a variety of, there's going to be some young guys that we've looked at, there's going to be some older guys that have a lot of experience that's going to be at. I think the biggest thing is as much as we're going to be questioning them through the process, they've got to ask themselves and whatever questions they have for us based on do they think they're a good fit for us as far as we need somebody to fill that spot that they need to want to be here and kind of take the take the bull by the horns and get us going in the right direction so I think that's that'll be a big part of it for whoever comes in here and steps in early this spring to, to really just kind of come in and, and take control. Let's hope we have a wrangler on our hands folks someone needs to take the bull by the horns. For College Week I'm Miranda Kane. Yeehaw!